Hello everyone, I'm Marina and this is Acramel School. I think that every nail tech needs to know how to apply gel polish perfectly close or under the cuticle. We can achieve this particular effect by lifting up and pulling the cuticle, applying color and when we release it, it seems that the color is under it. In this video, I will show you 4 detailed methods how to apply gel polish and share lots of life hacks. It will be really exciting. Let's get into it. Applying color close to the cuticle greatly depends on how clean the manicure is. If there is any skin left, then the color will definitely flow and the coating will look messy. I've already done a manicure, aligned the nail plate with a base cut and now let's take a look at 4 methods of a perfect color application. For the coating not to flow under the cuticle, I recommend you wipe off the tacky layer. I'm using a folded tissue so that acetone liquid couldn't get on the cuticle. I'm pulling it towards myself. If you doubt if the cuticle pocket is clean enough, you can additionally clean it and remove all the dust. Using an orange stick with some tissue around it or just a cotton swab. Take a look at the pocket now. It is perfectly clean. There are no skin leftovers. So the gel won't flow. That's how it should look. Now I will show you a life hack for the color application. Before applying color, lift up the cuticle with an orange stick or a pusher. Not pushing it, but lifting opening it up. Mind that such application is just an illusion and not actually getting deep under the cuticle. There is no need for that. After that, the cuticle will get back and visually, the coating will be under it. The first method is for the cuticle with a high proximal nail fault. So when you push the gel, it won't touch the skin. Now I'll show you a tip that will help you to practice and master this method. Grab some gel and squeeze the brush. Tilt the finger down a little so the material couldn't flow under the cuticle. I lean on with my pinky, press the brush to the nail, lower it for 1-2 to two millimeters and then push this drop upwards. This brush is fan-like, so it follows the cuticle. I pull the cuticle with my thumb and get the color deeper. Now I just pull it down and most of the surface gets covered. Don't release the cuticle yet and continue the application. Open up the sinus with your pinky and with sure strokes paint the sinus zone and the sides moving straight. On one side then turn the finger, pulling the sinus with the thumb. Place the brush diagonally and with short moves, cover up the sinus zone and the sidewall. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no 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 no! Remove all the legs with an orange stick and now we can get even deeper. I release the hand only on the way to the lamp. I want to point out that my table lamp is set in such a way that the light gets under the cuticle, so there is no shadow. It is crucial for the deep application. You can practice the following way. Grab some color, apply it, lower it down for 1-2 to two millimeters, and then paint a straight line. Imagining there is the cuticle. And now paint the sinuses. The first layer. Now grab some more color and apply it a little higher. Make sure it's straight. And paint imaginary sinuses from both sides. 
To apply the second layer, I grab a bit more material and squeeze the brush from the side, so that the color is only on one side. I pull the cuticle, lower the brush for 1 to 2 mm and push the drop. I stop near the cuticle for 1 to 2 seconds for the color to flow over the first layer. And continue. Now the central part, move diagonally along the sinuses and the sides. I turn the finger to see it better. Then on the other side, I pull the lateral fold and paint. You can also seal the tip if your client likes it that way. Barely touching it. Don't make such moves, since the color gets under the nail plate and it looks messy. Then make long moves from the cuticle to the free edge and cure for 30 seconds. On the clients, I don't apply it like that. I apply the first layer on all 10 nails and only then the second one. The second method is using a thin brush. You can use it to paint under deep side sinuses and side walls. Now grab some color, apply it near the cuticle and paint the central part of the nail plate. Turn the finger and pull in the sinus, paint under it. Now paint the walls from both sides. Pull the skin well and don't rush. Keep the brush tip in the nail perimeter. I'm using this Rublov 10 O brush. Grabbing some color, tilt the finger down a little and paint like this, as if you were painting a reverse French. Get close to the cuticle. The brush is parallel to the cuticle. Now the side sinuses. Once I applied it there, I even it out to smooth the surface and sand to cure. I applied a second layer as I did on the previous nail, pushing it a bit, then stop near the cuticle and in three moves, I cover up the nail plate. Make sure to make long moves from the cuticle to the free edge. Now sand to cure. Now let's see the exercise you can do to practice this technique. Grab some color, apply it on the tip and make long moves. Paint in both sinuses. Make sure that the line is straight. Once again, it reminds painting swirls. You can see how the brush turns in the sinus zone. The next technique is fan painting. For this, we will need the original brush. It will act as a thin one. Again, grab and apply some color. Take a step back from the cuticle and paint. Now squeeze the brush well in the bottle, so that it is half dry. And with a tip, paint under the cuticle. It reminds the previous method, but here we're using the original brush instead. I fluff it well, since the more fluffed it is, the deeper it will get. Now make small strokes under the cuticle. Pulling it well. Paint the right sinus in this position. I add more color to the cuticle and spread it with long moves. Now apply the second layer. Push the material and stop near the cuticle. Squeeze the brush and starting with the imaginary right sinus, I fluff the brush and form such an even line. The fan method is one of my favorite, 
and I use it most of the time. And the fourth method is using a flat brush. It is perfect for beginners, since there will be little material and it won't flow under the cuticle. And now, here are a few exercises you can do to practice this technique. For this method, put a drop on the palette, dip the flat brush in it, so it gets soaked with color. Now pull the cuticle, and with such a half-dry brush, push the material to the cuticle. This technique actually reminds the first pushing method and using a thin brush, since such a flat brush can get deep under the cuticle. Don't worry that the layer is translucent, you can add more color later. Right now we need to get right under the cuticle. Now take the original brush and add another layer. The material will spread along the first deep one. Send to cure and release the cuticle on the way to the lamp. If the material still flows, there are a few videos on my channel on how to remove it. Lots of useful life hacks, so make sure to watch them to avoid any mistakes. Apply the second layer by the same principle. Making long moves from the cuticle to the free edge and sand to cure. Practice pushing the color to the cuticle. Place the brush diagonally so there is a straight line in the sinus. Turn the brush and paint both sides. And why don't I paint here? There is actually a slope in this area, so the material just flows there. Now let's apply a top coat using the same technique we used applying the second layer. Grab some top coat with the brush, so that it's on one side. Now pull the cuticle, apply it, take a step back and push to the cuticle. Hold for a few seconds for the top coat to cover up the color and make the same three moves in the center, on the right, on the left, you may even seal the tip, barely touching it. And finish it off with long moves, moving quickly parallel to the nail plate. Note how my fingers are moving. Use only your fingers, without moving your hand. We can turn the hand over, for the top coat to align and form a perfect highlight. Write in the comments which method you like the most. Make sure to practice all the exercises to apply color under the cuticle. Give a thumbs up if it was useful. Subscribe to the channel. Success in your work. Bye bye.